you when you go and watch an Alfred Hitchcock movie, you know the music has to be tensed, has to be uh, suspenseful. You don't don't expect to go to a to a Hitchcock movie where there's a murder and stuff like that, and to find piano and romantic uh, tones. That is why I wanted to make sure that I tried to pick the right music, the feel of it that went along with my video. So uh, also that it did not take away. Now, the only nice thing about Epidemic Sound that I thought was really cool, which I'm not sure other video services had, is they have something that is known as stems. And what this means is that you could download the music without the vocals or you can download all the different parts of the song in separate pieces. And, and in other words, you can compose the music together, like you can layer it together um, in, your, uh, uh, in, in, your, in your editing software. Like for example, let's say I'm, if I'm listening to a song and I like the song a lot, but I don't want to use the vocal. I, I just enjoy the music and I want to use the music alone. So in Epidemic, you can actually do that. Whereas in Artlist, some tracks actually have an instrumental version and a vocal version, which is kind of cool. But I noticed that only some tracks, they had it. Now, to me, is that a deal breaker? No, not really. I don't think it it's a big problem if the vocals are there. I, I know how to duck the vocals in my editing. So I know how to lower the volume and all that stuff. I, I can do that. That's perfectly fine. I don't need it. But I do see the huge benefit of having the opportunity to uh, download a song that you like, but minus the vocals, which is kind of cool actually. Mm -hmm.